Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. If you hear some noise, then it's because there are some people working in the neighboring apartment. Don't worry about that, the enemy is coming out to stop all our videos. Brothers and sisters, after yesterday we have received a revelation about our final transformation into kings and priests. Now we get today an understanding that we, yes, we are a small remnant, a small group only, and only a few people have seen the light. Only a few people have gathered together in the elevator to be lifted up, plucked up, apartsed into the clouds to be transformed into kings and priests. But the Lord has always selected only a few. Was Gideon's army not only 300 people instead of 20,000? Where the first group around Aaron, who was the first priest to serve the Father in the holy place, not only a small remnant out of the huge multitude of the Israelites. Yes, and so we are also out of the church, only a small remnant that is called forth for such a time as this, that is called forth to step out into the world and to be the forerunners for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to prepare his way in the spirit of Luke 10 and also in the spirit of Solomon. And the Lord has told us yesterday that he will give us the first dominion. What does that mean? Micah 4, 8 is the passage in the scripture where it says that we, the daughter of Zion and the tower of the flock, I was talking about it many times in other videos, we are the tower of the flock. We will receive the first dominion. We will walk as kings and priests here on earth so that everything will be fulfilled in the same pattern to what it was in the, in the first coming. When John had a similar ministry like Jesus, only to a lesser point, we will also walk as kings and priests here on earth in a lesser ministry than Jesus will have when he comes down with Mount Zion and then when he will be strong and powerful during the trumpet tribulation and at the end of it he will discard of the imposter Satan and he will establish his millennium kingdom. You are called into a remnant here. You are called into a special group. This is what I was talking about when I said we are a special task force because we will walk as kings and priests here on earth. That video from yesterday was finally your destiny realized and brought forth to you, revealed to you by the words of the Lord. But only a few people have seen it yet. So please share that video with everyone. It is one of the most important ones that people must see. They must get an understanding that they will receive the first dominion, that they will walk as kings and priests here on earth. It is so important, so vital that they get an understanding that we are now at the brink of the transformation into the power and the glory of the kingdom. We will not be worldly kings, but we are appointed kings and priests for the kingdom of heaven here on earth. We will be kingly and priestly ambassadors of the kingdom of God. Wherever we will be sent to, we will represent the kingdom. And that is also so important because we will also walk in true son and daughtership for the Father. As Jesus did, our transformation in the clouds will not only make us kings and priests, but it will also make us into the image of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, so that we can walk forward in the power and the glory as it was with the group in Luke 10, the 72 plus harvest workers who were going out preparing the way for the Lord, proclaiming that the kingdom has come and that Jesus will follow very soon. This is your destiny. This is what it is all about in this small remnant that the Lord is bringing together right now. This small remnant, this few people who will embrace the former and the latter rain, who will have everything in one accord all in common, who will do the same work all over the world on every continent and on every country and in every nation, these people will hold the first dominion. The Father will bestow unto you kingship. Understand this correctly. The Father will bestow unto you kingship here on earth. He is the one who is 
elevating kings and destroying kings here on earth. And he is setting you forth for your time of the mission to be kings and priests and to walk in the first dominion. You are called to something very great and powerful here as a remnant. Therefore, I have always called you to come out of the world, Babylon and the churches, because you need to separate yourself. You need to commit yourself to the kingdom. You need to step forward so that you can embrace the transformation that will come. Jesus is coming. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming. Let me repeat this again. Jesus is coming. And we will see him in the cloud and we will meet him there. But you need to be ready. Step forward now. Stand with us in the elevator, waiting in the upper room, so that the Lord can then lift us into the clouds and can transform us into what we always should have been. As it is written in Revelation 1, verse 6 or 7, one of these, where the Lord said, I have made you kings and priests. They're at the beginning now. The book of Revelation will open up. This is the beginning now of the end times. The remnant will go out as kings and priests. I have spent so many hours, brothers and sisters, here to bring that close to you. I have spent so many hours here to train you as a royal priest in the line of David. We even have a royal priesthood academy where there are training videos out and everything was done to prepare you as priests. And now the Lord has said, well done. You are prepared now, my royal priest in the line of David. And this is now the time when I bestow unto you the key of David. When I bestow unto you the key to the kingdom of heaven, as it was given to Peter. Now this is our time to be the remnant, to receive that key and to become kings here on earth. To walk forward into his image, not ours, in his image and in the name of the Father as Jesus did. And now we will do it again to prepare the way for his powerful second coming when he will become king of kings and Lord of Lords here on earth in the Millennium Kingdom. Separate yourself, brothers and sisters. Be part of this remnant. Be part of this anti-movement, this heavenly concept for such a time as this. Let the Lord allow, let us allow the Lord to change us, to bestow on us the mantles of all the spirits that are required, including of the spirit of Solomon, so that we can then walk as kings and queens here on earth. And as you see in the image, the Lord will then come for his small remnant that has started to grow and he will bestow unto us the first dominion. Brothers and sisters, if you are not excited now, then I do not know what to say anymore. You should flock now, you should come forward now, you should embrace the former reign, you should bring all your friends and families to, to us so that we can stand together. Because the Christmas day in November when Jesus will come and we will be taken to the clouds and the children will be rescued is coming up very soon. You need to make a decision either to remain in the crowd with the church or to step out and to be a remnant. The Lord is calling you right now to, for a special task, for a purpose, for the kingdom of heaven, to step forward and to serve him as never before. You are a small remnant, but you will be more powerful than all the other Christians together in this world. You will be more powerful than all the evil flat that is coming. You will be more powerful than the Antichrist. And you will take him down together with Jesus at the at the time when Mount Zion will come down and you will be then raptured into paradise to stand before the throne of God and the Father will tell you, well done my true and faithful servant. You were my true remnant. You were the small group that I sent out to stand against the evil army as it was with Gideon 300 only and they have destroyed all of the enemies and we will do the same. So let us step forward. Let us not say, oh, this is just a small group. Triple Grace is so small, it can't be right because they, they have no followers and nobody is walking with them. That is purpose. That is the purpose of the Lord. That only the ones with true faith, only the ones who have committed themselves 100% will be part of it. If the 300 warriors in the Gideon army were not perfectly dedicated warriors, he would not have made it. So. 
I only want here perfectly dedicated, faithful servants of the Lord who are ready to step forward, who are willing to obey the Lord wherever he will send them, no matter how difficult it will be. And then I can call you, you are the remnant of the Lord. You are the remnant that will walk as a king and priest here on earth. All the purpose, the last 10 years that the Lord has, has told me, build an altar, gather the people together with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit will come now to an end. The remnant is here. The remnant is coming together. Faithful people will separate themselves from the churches, from Christianity, and will come and gather to be elevated into the clouds, to be transformed into kings and priests. You are that remnant. You are that faithful servant. You are the one who will stand for the Father. You are the one who will walk in the image of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You are the ones who will bring in the harvest of the ages. Step forward now. Have a look at our step-by-step -step guide. Commit yourself. Stand for the kingdom and stand for the Father. And please share these videos with everybody. We have a new playlist called The Greatest Revelation of, from the Lord. Share that playlist with everybody. Let them have an understanding and let them come. The door is not yet closed. We have only 34 days left. Bring all your friends, your families in now. As Noah brought all his family into the ark. This is a time now before the door will close and the remnant is sealed and ready to step out. Then Antichrist will start to rise. Then everything else will happen. But then the door is closed because the remnant will be sealed and placed together. As it was in that time with the Gideon's army, you are called forth to be that powerful. With only a few people, you will destroy the enemy forces. This is the time to walk as kings and priests on us. I am so excited, brothers and sisters, and I know that you can feel it. Step forward now. Show them to everybody. Let them all come in. We will separate the mockers and scoffers and place them aside. We will take the religious spirits out. But we will walk in true faith to the Father with full commitment to the kingdom of heaven. So that the Lord, when he's coming now in on his Christmas day in November, that he will lift up into the clouds where we will be transformed into our destiny and purpose here on earth. Brothers and sisters, I call you to stand with me in the upper room to wait for the Lord. Step forward now. Follow the step-by-step -step guide. Be part of it. This is our time to shine as never before. And we will not do it in our own name or for our personal gain, but we will do it for the kingdom of heaven and for our true Father, God Almighty. I love you all so dearly and I hope that you Get excited too, that you know now what your destiny is, to walk as kings and priests on earth. And you were prepared well. And this is the time now when you will be elevated. In Jesus' name and in the name of the Father and in the name of the Holy Spirit, you will be elevated to receive the first dominion. Amen and amen. Maranatha.